Welcome to the next lecture of our course and in this lecture we'll be talking about the arrange act and assert operation pretty much like the continuation of our last lecture but this time we are going to do a bit further in terms of how we can do an assertion in a better fashion using what is called as tuples in C sharp in order to return multiple different elements instead of just returning one single element from our is logged in method that we tried doing in our last lecture. If you remember, we wanted to really do an assertion of two elements, not just one element. We tried to do an assertion of the link employee details, but we also wanted to do if we could able to assert the link manage user while we try to do an assertion. So how do we return two different elements same time within our one single method? Well, you can say, hey Karthik, why do we just write two different methods to return two different operation and do the assertion. We could do that as well. Yeah, you can, apparently you can do that. But just that, it is going to be an overkill if you try writing two different method to perform the operation. So you can say that uh, instead of is logged in, you can just say is employee detail exist or is manage user exist as two different method. And then you can try returning these two elements as is displayed and is displayed. It is okay to do that, but it is not great coding experience that you can really achieve while writing the code. Instead, we are going to write some more advanced concept using what is called as tuples in C sharp. So you just go ahead and search for tuples. It's one of the concept extracted from Python and Microsoft has also adapted it in their C sharp. So you can see that you can return two different object from tuples using this particular syntax. Now try to write this code and you'll understand how it actually works. I also told you in our last lecture to please go through the tuples. If you have not, don't worry, we are going to see how we can able to achieve that over here. And again, the C sharp for automation testing basic series in YouTube has got the idea of how that you can work with tuples in C sharp. It's much more detail available in our C sharp for automation testing series. You can go ahead and watch there. If not, I'm going to tell you how you can achieve that. So my goal is to see how we can return both the employee details and the manage user from this is logged in method. So in order to do that, I'm going to say return the link employee details. I'm going to open a parenthesis. And I'm going to put a comma over here. I'm going to say link manage user dot is displayed. So I want to return these two together. So once I do type like these two as together, there is a scrolly line there and it tells you that cannot implicitly convert the boolean type to bool bool type so there is something called as a bool bool type over here you could do something like this as well right so what is this bool bool type so let's try to do whatever that visual studio has told me so if i just try like bool bool over here you see that the screen line is gone and this code is quite correct as well so which means this syntax is also true while you try to do this operation but now the next question begs is how do we invoke this particular method well you can do that within your data driven testing in much easier fashion but you see that it tells you that this get logged in method is throwing an error because you cannot convert it from bool bool to just a bool so you need to do some dot and you see that once i hit dot over there visual studio is also telling me there is a way that you can use or get the value from the tuples using item one and item two property. So if I use item one property, which means I'm actually referring to the first parameter which is being returned from the is logged in method, which is gonna be the employee details is displayed, which is this one. And if I try to refer item two, which means I'm essentially telling, so if I just go and click this, employee item two over here so if i just go and click this one it refers to the second element see this has been highlighted so the second one is nothing but the link manager user which is this one so there are two elements that you can return it and you see that the boolean is being returned over here using tuples and that is how we could able to assert two elements from one single method this is a better way of doing it as well in c sharp world well that is great. I mean, what if I have like three elements or four elements? I can keep on getting like item three, item two, item four, item five, like that. That is not really a great experience to do it in C-sharp world, to be honest. So in order for that to be done in a more elegant way, you can actually 
name the return type property as uh, the employee details something like this and I can also say manage users so this is actually telling you that you can parameterize what is being the return type of this particular method in the tuple and that way what you're essentially telling is that you wanted to get the first element or first item and second item with this named property so if I just go back to our data driven testing over here instead of you specifying item 2 in this case now if I hit the dot you see that I also get the manage users and employee details over here so you can get item 1 item 2 or you can also get employee details like that and now you can also say get employee get logged in dot and then you say manage users so I want to do an assert to of uh, true of both of them so I'm gonna say and so there is an and command that we can use and then I'm gonna say get logged in dot manage users so I can do this way as well so now this time I'm achieving my goal of asserting both the get logged in employee details and the manage users same time so now if I try to run this code and see how it actually works so you will notice that the code is just gonna do exactly like how it worked before as well but just that this test is going to be verifying both the employee details and the manage users for you and that is the power of you verifying both the elements returned from one single method using C sharp tuples that is the power guys and I think you have got the idea of how you can assert multiple elements from one single line of code and this is also quite legal and much elegant way of doing it in C sharp world and you may ask like what are the other different operation that you can do with assertions not just using tuples but also using even more better fashion which we are going to talk about using an external third-party library which we can use it as well to perform the assertions not just using the assert.true or assert.false or assert.nan which is available in the nunit assertion library you can also use something called as fluent assertion which is going to make your life even more easier even more readable and make things much better which we are going to discuss in our next lecture